Welcome back to the channel, Captain Chad Gabs. As usual, Rosie the Pig. If you don't know who we are, we're Team Floppy Ears. We've been doing this for six years, seven years. I've had her for eight years. She's changed my life. In any case, I didn't really want to make this video. I typically don't talk about other people or what they do because we just mind our own business and we're focused on our goals and our mission. But video popped up in my feed yesterday from my friend Jonas Black. He brought uh, some awareness to a dude literally like literally slamming a puppy on the ground and uh, fracturing its pelvis. Yeah, you know, I did a little research. I typically don't, I don't pay attention to nobody but myself and maybe a few homies. So it was a little weird for me to be like digging, you know, doing a little digging. You know, I'm not that, there's a lot of people out there that that's what they do. Like that's what they do with their time. I fucking got goals and I'm smashing stuff, you know. So I don't fuck with that. But this time I did because, you know, we always try to remember why we got in this game. And I think that's something that's, it's been lost for this person. And I think, I think kind of similar to the Tiger King, you know, he got into the game with the true passion for the Tigers and then, you know, the money, the, the, the fame and, and all the, and all the this and that, it got to him. And then, and, and then, then the Tigers themselves started to lose value. It became a job and now they're, now they're just things and they're not these living beings that we, that we should honor, love and respect. Right, especially in this dude's particular situation, um, you're dealing with other people's pets and you're slamming the other people's pets on the ground like that. Everybody and their mom that sees the video is going to think that you do this to all of the dogs that you that come through your doors, because. In fact, let's just cut to the video right now so you could see. Now I'm going to give you guys a trigger warning. This is very, very disturbing to see. So, without further ado. So this is my buddy Jonas actually bringing awareness to this guy. And believe me when I say this is hard to watch. Boom, pelvis is destroyed. Now the video itself is bad enough, right? You see a person doing that and then you think to yourself, this is a very renowned, very well-known dog trainer. He's got 50,000, 100,000 fought, like he is very popular and I, don't often say this, but I believe that everything he has coming to him, he deserves. I don't believe he should be in animal welfare. I think he needs to hang him up and move on to, you know, caddying or, you know, carrying the suitcases for all the famous people he works for. You know, go go get involved in what you're really interested in. Because if you watch your YouTube, boy, I tell you what, sure does look like you love being a part of the celebrity scene. Like... We could see where your intentions are, bro. People will show you, you know, people will show you. We know, you know, you, especially after you see the video, it's like, where, where's your heart at, man? Is your heart at being fucking full of clout with your celebrity clients, slamming infant puppies on the ground, destroying their pelvis, destroying their mind. It's not just a physical damage guy. And I think, you know, that I think you need to put the leash down and I think you need to retire. It's absolutely despicable. It's disgraceful. And I believe in second chances. I believe in forgiveness. But some things, there's no undoing. And this is one of those things. You get caught doing what you did. You deserve everything you have coming. Okay? And all I could hope is that you learn from it. Because this type of shit has to stop. And to take it a step further, one of the reasons I believe this happens on top of the fact that he loses empathy and compassion for, the, for his craft, that's exactly the main thing. He's lost empathy and compassion for his craft. You cannot commit an act like that unless that's the case. Like, plum fact. I also think one of the situations that this particular individual is experiencing is um, sort of a lack of patience. I won't say ability. You know, for a lot of these older dinosaurs that still believe in like, over, like forcing dogs and, you know, a lot of them just don't have the knowledge and ability. And then you got this other section of older dinosaurs who just don't give a fuck who will just absolutely brr, 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 and ignore their abilities. This guy had all the ability in the world to teach this animal diligently, but because he lost his, he lost his cool, he, he got frustrated and the lack of empathy and compassion also came into play with that single act, which I do believe he completely regrets now. Like, uh, how could you not regret that? Right. And he should, I think he has a, I think he has, a lot of mental battles coming up because, I mean, nobody's going to physically do anything to him. Nobody's going to go, you know, and, and do anything. Um, 
animals, unfortunately, are considered property to the state. And so I think maybe he'll get some sort of, you know, little bit of a little bit of a penalty. But I, every time you see an animal cruelty case, you always think to yourself, oh, that is definitely not enough time for what he did, you know, if he gets any time at all. Um, I think the ultimate punishment is taking away his ability to be around dogs. He has to find a new profession. That would be like in my mind, I, I believe that would be a sufficient punishment. People can go on and we can know that there's one less motherfucker out there providing the ultimate disservice to dogs and other people's dogs. I didn't want to make this video. This is the last time I'll, I'll talk about this, but I just wanted to encourage you guys, if you're watching at home, hug your babies a little closer and a little tighter today. And just know that if your dog comes through my place, they are protected with my life. If you want to come look at my cameras, 24 hour surveillance, you're welcome to do that. Any of you's animal controls welcome anytime. Um, if I ever get to that point in my career where I could be that compassionless and lack that much empathy for these animals, I will retire and you will never see me again. Trust that. I said the same thing about baseball. When I was done, I knew I was done because I just knew this is the time. This is time for me to go and I'm, and, and I'm not enjoying it anymore. I want to go home. And, and, and I hung them up and nobody ever saw me again on the baseball scene. So you could bet that that's exactly what I would do if I ever got to that point. But I won't because every day I see this kid. That little girl changed my life. And at the very beginning of this, I thought to myself, hey, this kid changed my life. I want to advocate for the pit bull and I want to show the world how amazing they are. And I want to honor her brothers and sisters. I want to honor her ancestors for, you know, for the gift that they are. Man, 